How's it going everybody? Today we're going to remove the window washer pumps in a 135i BMW. As you can see I've already removed the wheel. Now what we're going to do is remove the inner wheel well um, closest to the door. Um, that'll allow us to access the reservoir. First let's go ahead and remove the three rivets. What you're going to do is push in just like I've already done right here on the inside pin and, and then push those in far enough so then you can pull these out with a pry bar. Once you have those removed, then you're going to want to remove the various 8 and 10 millimeter screws and bolts that are holding the wheel well. There you go all the way up to this side primarily. Don't forget that there is a, a 8 millimeter and a 10 millimeter down there as well as a T27 Torx that has a screw right here and you'll pull that out as well. Let's go ahead and I'll remove those um, off screen and we'll move on from there. Okay, so with the wheel well removed, um, you'll notice that there's a white reservoir right here. That is actually the uh, window washer reservoir. Uh, it's held by a 10 millimeter bolt and there's also a hook up here that has a little bit of a hanger. Um, what we're gonna do actually now is take out this indicator light. Uh, because that's going to make your life a lot easier to see where it actually hooks up. So let's go ahead and take that out real quick. And to remove that, you actually have to push in towards the uh, front of the vehicle and then up. Just like that. And let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so with the uh, indicator removed, there's, you can see a little bit of a white tab in there. With the light removed, you can actually see where it's gonna hook up. Now, getting it out won't be so hard if you left the indicator light in. It's getting it in after you've done the fix because what it likes to do is it likes to bump up a little bit if you don't have it angled just right against the indicator light. So it's kind of nice to have it out so you can kind of look in there while you're pushing the reservoir back in and actually see it go into the little hanger for the tab on the reservoir. So let's go ahead and remove the reservoir. Okay, and we're back. So I got the reservoir moved out as far as I could. Now you notice mine's already leaking because, well, that's why we're doing this. Um, one thing to keep in mind is, I don't know if you guys noticed, but um, the actual reservoir itself, uh, there's a tab, like a little uh, wire cable control tab that's kind of attached to the reservoir. So that's why the signal indicator was kind of coming out with it. Might also have been tangled up in it a little bit too. So I just went ahead and removed the entire indicator light. Once you get this far, you'll notice that in this case, this vehicle has two pumps. So one is for the actual windshield and the other one is for the front of the washers. I'm sorry, for the front of the headlights, there's washers built in. So that little square tab right there. So um, I went ahead and ordered my new ones from FCP Euro. Uh, to take these out, all you'll need to do is kind of push it out like that. Up, it's gonna come out. Don't forget your seal. So, um, and also keep in mind that if your reservoir is full and you try pulling these out, it's just gonna completely pour out. So make sure you've got a bucket or something under it. And then obviously disconnect it, put the new one on is the reverse order so just like so so then that's pretty much it uh, you would put everything back in reverse order uh, like I said just be careful with that tab um, it helps to have the indicator light out so you're not whacking it when you're trying to put the reservoir back in um, I struggled with that for a little while until I figured it out that's pretty much it it's pretty simple thanks guys